Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Day Z. If you enjoyed this content, please hire an escort for a couple of hours, dim the lights, and then just get them to subscribe to me and watch my videos for the entire time, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. So Day Z, just in case you don't know the game, it's a pretty brutal zombie survival simulator. You start on the beach with a piece of fruit and have to conquer this Russian wasteland. You've got to eat, stay hydrated, scavenge, avoid sickness, but most importantly, have fun. I'm kidding, most importantly survive the encounters you have with other real players because if you die, you die forever. Like in real life, but worse. This brings me to where I currently am. I've been addicted to this game and I mean look at me. I look like a navy seal. There's players out there swinging shovels and I have a kitted M4 assault rifle with 250 tracer rounds. I'm the big pupper of these lands. I make Vladimir Putin's regime look cute. That's not a joke either, I've become absolutely an evil person. You see, I used to trust people. I'd spend hours and hours finding good gear and then stop to give a fresh spawn a can of tuna and a back scratch. And then they'd crush my skull at the first opportunity and take my stuff. This game changes you and you quickly learn that to survive, you have to be ruthless. Here's a clip I sent to my mate Stealth Omato a few weeks ago demonstrating just how ruthless I became. I often think this channel is a bit like Pornhub except without the sex, so basically just low production quality and this embodies that but it's the only recording I've got. So this man just lays on his stomach and tells us he wants to be friends but he sounded so dodgy. I wanted to trust him but a few guys with the exact same accent had just tried to backstab us so well, yeah. I somehow missed several times too, which is quite hilarious, but the only thing separating me and ISIL at this point is our execution accuracy. It's getting out of hand. In fact, it's time for a change. I need to be a better human. It's obviously going to be risky trusting players as I have so much high-end gear. In fact, I haven't died in about 30 hours, but I need to take a chance and trust the world again. My friend Stealtho Robbo is about five kilometers away and he's encountered another player and she's a real life whammon gamer. How exciting. I run over to meet them. Literally the whole five kilometers, it took ages, but Daisy really be like that. I need to make sure this girl isn't going to betray us. Do you swear that you won't kill us? Jeff, you're looking at me. Oh, sorry. This is me. This is real. My apologies. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. Is that Crosby? Whoa, is that Crosby? Hundreds? Yeah, that's Crosby. That's Crosby. That's Crosby. That's Crosby. That's Crosby. Oh, so by total coincidence, it turns out my other friend Crosby tried to kill her and her three friends last week, so they're not exactly best friends forever. I'm also probably coming off as a bit aggressive, but I am trying my best to be a friendly player here, so I continue trying to establish trust walls. I learn that her name is Maddie, and we say we'll help her search the town so she can find gear. This is a huge step forward for me. Expending my precious ammunition to kill the undead so she can scavenge, and you know what, it feels good to help out. I then get shot in the head and die instantly and I might just go kill myself in real life now. Let's be honest though, this is deserved karma. So just like that, I'm dead permanently and have respawned back on the beach with nothing but one bloody pair. Great source of fiber though. Anyway, the lads discover it was a sniper who shot me from around 500 meters away. I mean, I respect him for hitting that shot, but I'll also be wishing death upon him every single night before bed while I sip my hot chocolate. So the first time I tried to be friendly in weeks and now I'm malnourished and poor scavenging for scraps again. It's been a long time since I was here, trying to translate Russian street signs to figure out where I am. As an insensitive white male, the fact that Russians don't use the same alphabet as me makes me feel socially uncomfortable. Really though, the only good thing about a zombie infestation is you get to punch grandmas in the head without any repercussions. I find a dope helmet and then meet another player who isn't talking, but I tell him I'm friendly and he seems pretty chill. He also seems to like punching grandmas and it's nice that we instantly have this shared interest as it really helps build rapport. This guy seems very new to the game as he doesn't even bandage his wounds after the fight, so I do it for him. Look at me out here, I'm bloody Mother Teresa. It's good to be redeeming myself. I decide to head to Kamishovo, which is notoriously the most violent town in the game. It's where you go if you want to fight, sort of like the three meter radius around my ex-girlfriend. As I arrive, I can see the police station is smoking. Players often let off smoke grenades here to encourage naive survivors to investigate and then they kill them. 
wholesome. I try to sip God's nectar, aka water from this fountain and they invite me into their home, what great guys. It's always nice being a guest in someone's house and then he shoots me in the face with his shotgun. Can't say I didn't see this coming, but look, I'm still trying to see the best in people. By total chance, I spawn right next to Kami Shovo again, which is statistically a massive fluke, so I head back over to the police station for round two. My homegirl Maddie is on the roof of the police station. It is a very odd place to be right now, I'll tell you that much. What are you gonna do with that baby pistol? Show it if mommy's out. <laughs> hey Maddie. How are you, mate? Oh, yeah, good, how are you? Right, see you there. Alright, see you guys. It's become apparent that Kami Shovo probably isn't the best place to be a good Samaritan. So Maddie, myself, and this other random freshborn decide to jog inland. I can't describe how underprepared we are for such a trek as we don't have any canned food and only one bottle of water. But if we stay in Kami, we will eventually get murdered, so yeah, starvation it is. You guys should get hats, you're gonna get sunburned. Hopefully. My chick is pasty and ugh. Uh, if we can find like a chicken or something and then like hook it up and put it in our chest, it'll keep us warm. Cuddling would also keep us warm. It would. So yeah, I'm feeling some pretty unwarranted optimism right now. I'm with good company, I have a nice hat. I mean, my vitals are dropping rapidly, but for the moment, everything is fine. I'm making a YouTube video and I want to get a thumbnail. Is that alright? Wait, do you want us naked? Right. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Shoes or no shoes? Uh, do shoes, I don't want you to get your foot cut. I know I didn't actually use this thumbnail because the lighting was bad. You know what they say about good lighting, it can make an average sized penis look slightly above average, which is what we're all about here at Modest Pelican Gaming. For real though, they voluntarily stripped off so I could try to make some booty clickbait. I really am amongst good people right now. The looming darkness is bad news though, as nightfall is coming, and seriously, we barely have any resources left. These two are probably so cold right now as well, doing this photo shoot in their underwear, but hey, at least I'm toasty warm in this hoodie. We burn through the last of our fruit supplies and head for the closest town. There's also constant gunshots in every direction, and we don't even have a pointy stick to defend ourselves, so it's really a red hot situation. Should we take shelter in the house? Hey, look, home sweet home. <laughs> nice, nice. Looks like my grandma's house. Is your grandma attractive? Terrain is not ideal. Hmm. I'm gonna chop down this tree because I have a hatchet. Maddie, while you do that, I'm gonna stay inside where it's nice and dry and warm. Okie dokie. I'll offer emotional support. You're doing great, a great job. We managed to get a fire started pretty much all thanks to me because I had the foresight not to help and therefore not get the matches wet. Maddie says that we probably shouldn't have put the fire near the window where the light could be seen and that upstairs would have been better. I take this a little bit too literally and pour water on the fire so that we can move it fires have got to stay hydrated too. This doesn't go down too well with the team as this was our last source of drinkable water. At least with the fire upstairs, bandits shouldn't be able to easily see us and kill us. There's an elephant in the room that we're all starving to death slowly. Hey, I'm just gonna join the party real quick. Alright man. Well? Should we eat him? Nah, we can't, we can't eat him. I'm only gonna eat one of you <laughs> if you volunteer. Nah, nah. <laughs> you guys eat me, alright? I think that's the way to go. I've had a good run. I couldn't do it, man. I'm sorry. Couldn't do it? We're not going to eat you. The mood is shifting with all this talk of cannibalism, so I pull out my axe to kill myself so that these two legends can eat my corpse and go on without me. Maddie freaks out and runs off, which I guess is fair enough as I do look like I'm about to start swinging. My boy Envy talks me out of sacrificing myself, but now it's pitch black and we've lost a third of our crew. With our little glow sticks, we set out to find Maddie, but this is getting grim. There's no minimap. If you make too much light, you'll probably just get shot, and I'm barely staying alive here. You know what, man? I think it has come to it. You've got to eat me, bro. <laughs> You're gonna, are you sure? You don't wanna eat me. Just you, promise you... that my legacy will go on in your mind. It will, mate, it will. Okay. Good night, sweet prince. It's been, a, it's been a great day. It's been a pleasure riding with you. In one of the saddest gaming moments of 2020, the legend himself known as Envy Loyalty served himself up like a steak and let me eat him. I can't believe I'm now eating my viewers. Like every video, it just seems to get more and more out of hand, but I realize I don't even have a knife to cut him up. A huge miscalculation. I'm dying here and I can't even eat him. We can't let this sacrifice be in vain. 
He did whisper one last touching phrase in my ear before he died though. He said, It's all fun and games till they ask me what it is and I say it's aborted. Rapidly starving to death, I search for a knife or Maddie. I need a miracle and fast. Then like an angel emerging from the shadows, I see Maddie's glow stick. Maybe, just maybe, we can reunite and pull through here. Life is a cruel mistress though, because it seems Maddie has fallen. My girl is dead and we didn't even get to have any unprotected virtual cuddles. I'm genuinely a broken man here. She was a brave soldier and a big reason why I didn't die sooner, so I do the only thing that feels right. I take the hunting knife out of her backpack, cut her up into several human steaks and start chowing down like the hungry malacca I am. It's funny the way life works, isn't it? I wanted to get inside Maddie, but in the end, she got inside me. Moments later, I throw up several liters of blood and then die because the human digestive system doesn't react well to raw meat. Wow. This story does have a happy ending, however, because I continue being a really good guy. If someone needs an apple, I give them an apple. I did my best to clothe the good people of DayZ. Seriously, like 75% of the time, I was really kind and warm to strangers. I even got pretty geared again and met up with Maddie, who's now my actual friend. We made it all the way back to our base, right up in the far corner of the map, to finally reunite with Stealtho Robbo and Crosby, and we all lived happily ever after. Well, except of course for Envy, whose corpse is lying dead on the road. May he live on in our hearts forever. Thanks for watching, you absolute legends, and a massive thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.